Hey everyone, it's Tina Lovell, and I know I'm a couple minutes late, but I wanted to come on and do a quick live to show you a couple of the things that I have been playing with from the new idea books. Um, so I just got home. I'm a little late because luckily uh, I was able to get one of my sons to get his hair cut, which we haven't been able to do a lot of, and I it ran a little longer than I wanted. So let's get started. Okay, this thin cut bundle is what I wanted to show you guys today. And what it is, is it's a set of three background metal dies. You guys see that? I don't know if anyone's on. Oh, hi, Karen. Hi, Dolores. Sorry, I am really not good at, let me see if I can move it, seeing who's on, but I am so glad that you're here with me. Okay, so this is one thin cut die set, and it comes in a bag like this, and it's called layer, Layered Floral Background. And it, it's so cool because you just stamp it, or you cut it out one, two, or three times, it doesn't matter, and you make an absolutely fun and beautiful card. So this is one card I did, and it's all put together and I was super excited about it because it was so easy I mean I didn't really have to do much other than picking my colors and this is the new Sundance paper that we're carrying and then the inside layer is just the light side of it but then I wanted to think do I want to do a third layer with this or hi Kaylee hi Jessica or do I want to just do a background? So what I did was, even though it comes with these three, even though it comes with these three background metal dies, um, they are the size of a card front. But you do not have to use all three. So I used this for my top layer. I used this one for the second layer, and I decided not to even use this because I decided to pull out one of our brand new holographic papers called Twinkle Toes and look at the different colors. Okay, I hope you can see this. Look, when I bend it like this, it looks yellow and sun dancey and autumn -y and fall and like everything you want for leaves and pumpkins. But if I do this, it's got that pink undertone and it can be red or desert rose and oh, it's so pretty. So here is what it looks like, a little piece of it out of it. So let me rotate it. And so that's what is in the background of this card. And then I went ahead and I stamped, I mean, I cut it out again with the circle thin cuts. And then this is a brand new special stamp set. I don't know if you guys have noticed it. I didn't notice it right away, but it's called You Brighten My Day. And look how cute it is. I literally did not realize this was a special set. And um, someone mentioned it and I had to look it up and I thought, Oh my goodness, I love all of the sentiments and sayings and the swirl design. So I chose the You Brighten My Day and I paired this with the mm, with Bloom with Grace papers and stamped it in Desert Rose. Pretty, right? Okay, so let me show you where this is found. Okay, it is in this book. I looked and looked and looked in the annual book because if you guys have looked at this at all you know that there are so many new thin cuts here in the back see tons tons of thin cuts now even letter thin cuts all right so i was in here looking and i thought why can't i find this special bundle it's because it's in the september october book and that um, is around for September and October and it's already nearing the end of September which is so weird to say but ta-da I found it <laughs> so I don't always I, I don't always see these things either but look at the example isn't that pretty they did the three layers it's so cute so here's another card I did I started I didn't finish it because I wanted to introduce you to another new color, our color of the year, which is Bluebell. So this is Bluebell cardstock on the dark side, and I cut it out with the top layer. And then this is Bluebell cardstock with the light color. Let me get that close enough so you can see the variation. So basically, when I was making this, I cut a four and a half inch by 12 strip of cardstock, and I ran it through with this on one side, took it out, flipped my paper over, and ran this one through with the other side. So easy. 
Oh, tell your mom I said hi, Kaylee. Okay, so then I thought, what, I have all these new holographic papers. Okay, this one's called Majestic, and in the book it looks almost sapphire and blue, but look at it in as you rotate it around. And so I thought, I want to try and use Majestic with the Bluebell, the brand new color Bluebell. So this is what... It would look like all put together. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see that? It looks pretty. So then I thought, well, well how am I going to decorate this one? So then I thought, oh, I'm going to pull out another one of our new thin cuts. And it's our thanks thin cut, if you've seen it in there. Um, I know this is probably backwards, but it cuts out the word thanks, and then it makes the border for it. So look what I did. I cut out the thanks in the dark bluebell, and then I did the holographic paper in the background, and I added little foam dots to the back, and let me show you what it's gonna look like. I was thinking I would glue it together for you, but I'm not sure. It takes a little while to glue together, but look how cute and simple this card would be. What do you guys think? Isn't that cool? I am loving this die set, both of them. Okay, I was a little worried about cutting out the things, but I just used this Tombow multi-purpose glue and I squirted some on my little messy mat like this and then used a dauber and rubbed it on each letter. Okay, so that's how I was able to get that but look how fun and quick that card is gonna be with just thin cuts no stamping whatsoever okay so look at this one again side by side I love it and there are so many new new um card front dies background they're called background thin cuts that will work perfectly for doing this and so they're all over my desk in my office so I'm gonna keep playing and showing you stuff um I also wanted to show you one other thing. I did this one in our new color avocado and I did it in dark and I did it in light and look how cute that two tone looks together. Now I recommend with these dies, run it through your cuddle bug twice, forward and then backwards because I thought you guys would like to see that I could not punch these little pieces out. They did not get a good cut and it's gonna tear. So for these ones, I ran it through twice, forward and backwards. And now I'm thinking, and you guys can let me know what you think, how cute would it be if I added silver gems to the middle of all the little flowers once I have it completely together and on a card? So cute, right? Okay, lots of die cuts. Um, I hope you guys have seen them all. My biggest thing was that I couldn't find this one I just thought it was in the annual. It's in the September, October catalog, and it's really cool. And then the thanks one, all the others, they're here in the annual book, and there are tons. Look at all these background eyes, all of these. I owe you a video on this one, Karen, using the Distress Oxide inks, and that's coming. Um, and I am going to do videos with all of them, but there are so many dies. Look at this flower die. I'll be doing a video on that too. I love it. And the hexagons for those of you who scrapbook. Watch how I'm going to use this in scrapbooking. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you that I was able to play with today. I hope you guys are doing well. And I would love to see all of the things that you guys are making. Because I haven't seen much of your artwork lately. And I know you all create on a regular basis. So this is your invitation to share artwork uh, in our Crafty Friends group. I would love to see it. Even if you don't have these dies, I just want to see what you guys are working on. So hopefully I'll be back tomorrow to show you a little bit more. Finally got a whole bunch of my projects done, which include two brand new card workshops that you can watch out for. One is a Christmas photo card workshop. And then one is a birthday shaker card workshop that makes 18 cards. And I have my new Christmas layout kit 
prepped. So I've been super busy on the creative side, but today I just said I want to play with new stuff and new colors and new dyes. All right. Thanks for joining in and watching me and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye.